Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at FiTech. If you have an LS system and are experiencing no vehicle speed sensor, no shifting, 4L60E starts in third gear, or 4L80E starts in second gear, I'm going to teach you how to fix those problems with just a handheld. On the LS system, the ECU controls the transmission on a 4L60E or 4L80E or some variants in between there. If you have the handheld configured properly, the transmission should shift and read vehicle speed sensors properly as long as your gear ratio and tire diameter is entered correctly. It should shift fairly stockish. If it's not shifting properly or if it's not reading the, the vehicle speed sensor, if it's throwing a bunch of fault codes, you will have to check the connector to make sure it's installed properly on the transmission. Check the vehicle speed connector. Sometimes the pins can actually push out of the connector as you insert it. Make sure those are correct. Make sure there's no breaks in any of the wires. And uh, if it's all correct, connected properly and no fault codes, everything should be shifting normally. The main thing you have to do to set them up properly is on the initial setup, auto trans setup, there's a option that is for the 4LXOE. That option enables both the shifting, the fault codes, the vehicle speed input, and everything else that goes along with controlling the transmission properly. So if that option is not enabled, you won't get a vehicle speed reading, you won't get shifting. The transmissions will actually default into, on a 4L60E, they default into third gear. On a 4L80E, it defaults into second gear, so it'll feel very lazy, but it will drive without transmission control enabled. So you can see on the dashboard, there's vehicle speed zero. Right now I'm not driving, but uh, if I were driving and this were still showing zero with an uh, LS 4L60E or 4L80E, uh, the main problem is because it's not enabled in the auto transmission control. And it has to have the 4LXOE trans showing 4LXOE as opposed to other. If it's showing other, switch it to 4LXOE, click OK. Now transmission control is enabled and you will be able to see the vehicle speed sensor input. If you're having a manual transmission, you would turn off that auto trans for 4LXOE, go into manual transmission and turn on T56. With T56, the tire size and gear ratio needs to be skewed a little bit differently to get the vehicle speed reading to be correct. Typically I go to a uh, two to one gear and a taller tire until the vehicle speed matches actual using a GPS. So if you're not seeing vehicle speed or it's not shifting properly at all, uh, make sure you go back to the initial setup, the auto trans setup, the 4L XLE needs to be enabled and also have the proper transmission selected between 4L60s and 4L80s. All right, thanks for watching. I hope these tips helped you. If you have any uh, questions or comments, you can leave them below. And join us again for another Tech Tuesday at MyTech.